Like, let's see if there's any um, Christmas fucking telly. Um, UK Christmas special. UK TV. No. No. The two row, that'd be fucking awful. Um, right, first of all, check out 321. Right, there's that. There's that fucking shiter. We've seen that. Fascinating Ada. Oh, that's, that's Seaside. We've seen all this. We've seen all this. Right. What other Christmas specials are there for like the 80s? Blankety blank. Um, there's not much in it. Bullseye Christmas special. Ninety one, eighty seven, eighty three. Oh no, that's eighty eight, ninety two, eighty four. Tele addicts. I don't think. I just don't think they're getting the same as like you would with 321. I'm looking at my 321 folder, spring 1981. Give us a wee moment. 321, 1981, right? Let's just see what happens here. The Old West melodrama. Right, I'm going to pop that out. Country Life, I think I've seen that cunt. Circus Cabaret, Cloak and Dagger, Music Hall, Riverboat. Riverboat is just fucking dodgy. Riverboat feels dodgy right away. As soon as I think of Riverboat, I just think, right, Riverboat, what do I think of? I think of like um, fucking Huckleberry Finn, that whole sort of thing. And back at... I, I just see some dodgy fucking things pop up. And as much as it's a uh, fucking you know, sort of cringy or whatever or informative to see some of these dodgy things in the past, I don't actually genuinely want to fucking seek out Uh, some right fucking dodgy stuff. Railways. I've got a feeling I've seen that one. Actually, maybe no. Maybe no. Right, I'm going to pop that. We'll just watch the same one again and again. Casablanca. Right, no fucking watching that one. Um, right. I don't remember, I don't remember seeing one with the Wurzels on it. Magic, I think we've seen. 1983, that's when it must have got seriously shite. Greece, the whole thing about Greece. 1982, the swinging 60s. 1983, we've got Nay. And uh, then our, our, our faves there. Egypt, no. No chance. Horror, 1978. Spine chillers. Right, hold on, let's check out what, what spine chillers is. We might have seen this. Hold on, let, let me just see. Let me just see the, the folk that are on it, right? We've watched it twice on this stream. Twice? We've watched it twice? This is the one where I went like, wait a minute, we've seen this. Because like... Always the most important... Martin and Michelle. 
Michelle Walton. The Frankenstein one looks familiar. This, see this? That looks familiar. I don't remember. I don't remember. I feel like almost gone to the point where I go, oh, I remember that. What about the horror one? This is horror. Spine chillers. Have we seen this? We'll watch it, just, we'll watch it until I get to a point where I go, we've fucking seen this. The quality's top notch. Three, just three. Hello. Even though you've started up top. Wait, that's it, leave it there. Yeah. Asked up four, five. It's still going to be six, isn't it? Still be, no. Thank you. Thanks so much. Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen. Ted Rogers saying his time once again for three, two, one. The show that's got the lot. Welcome once that looked again, like a good one, by the way. Ted Rogers saying his time once again. Wait a minute. Wait a second. That's three. The the pinky is sort of up a wee, it's up slightly. That's fucking one right up, two right up, three right up, and that pinky is, that's three. Is he going to do it? That's three. That's, an, that's three though. Is it? That's three. That's no two. Look, can you see that ring finger there on the left? In case you can't see it, I'm just uh, frame by frame and you'll spot it. See how the ring finger comes in? That's, uh, right, you think that's two, watch. That's one, two, three, right? Three is like one plus one plus one, right? Now, watch. That's his ring finger there. That, see that there? That's the ring finger, that's the middle finger, and that's the index finger. That's three. This here is what's known as the pinky, that's the other one. This thing you see here is what's known as the thumb. Wait a minute. Do you use, are you aren't honest or not winding me up? You really think you are seeing uh, two fingers or just two? So, see this one that's got the tip here? And that wee one there. See it? That one there. You just think that's one single finger, do you? That's three. One, two. And then you can see the ring finger coming down. Do you see it? You just think that the middle finger can curve in like that, right? Pinky. Some. Two. There's two fingers. There's the right. The, that's that. Yeah. That is three, three, one. One. The show that's got the lot. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you once again, studio audience. I'd like to introduce you to one or two parties we've got here. I know we've got the YMCA here, haven't we? Somewhere. Hi there. Wait a minute. Have Good. we seen this? We've also got a party of shop fitters here. Is that right? Yeah. Ah. The shop fitters, they've told me they'll convert anything. They've no, they've just converted a British Railways waiting room into a freezer centre. We've fucking seen this. It's going to be... Easy going, of course, for our contestants, we hope. There's only one hazard for them, you know who that is, the bin of... Tea. Wait a minute. Mr. Let's, let's not fuck a bit here. That shit is. Well done. From this week, we've got that lovely... Libby's dead in the intro. Lady Libby Roberts lives... This is highly unusual. Where's, where's Karen? Arrival fallacy says, yes, we told you five minutes ago. Keep something in mind that I keep saying this, and I don't know if I'm getting trolled here with that person just saying that. 
Yous all collectively say many things, and a lot of the things you say are full of fucking shite. So just because you say, we, we've seen this before, we've no seen this before, we've maybe seen this before, probably, and don't know. Once one of the answers is proved to be fucking correct, can I just go, we told you, we told you, some of you's got it right, and probably by accident. Tokyo and Ludders, Guybrush, um, Cannibal Tree, Bell, Jordan, Murray, Shoven, Baco, Blunt, Biscuits, El Pistachio, Walmart, Prussell, Shut Mark, thanks to subs. Welcome home to the Tummin brothers as they return home from Berlin for the holidays. Money tea by Jester, thank you very much. Relax after your PhD work today, you'd put your feet up. One of your, I'll say we'll try seven days to die, something like Minecraft, but more focused on zombies. I got told it's no, it's all right, it's not brilliant. Cannibal Tree, thanks, uh, thanks to sub. Thank you very much. Your word from a week ago still has me chuckling. Mill. Tokyo, thanks to sub. By the way, let me just try Wordle. Can you hold on a wee second? Um. This is highly unusual. I'm pretty sure we've seen this, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hear what uh, Libby's got to say, and then I want to go to when the three of them come out and say their bit to, to absolutely confirm it. Okay, what's this little character up to this week? Well, Dusty's dressed up as Frankenbin this week because Frank the theme of our show is spine chillers. Don't fucking interrupt. I bet, I bet we've watched this before and I've said that. Don't speak with the... She's doing her thing and they're talking error so that she, she, she sort of fucks up her words. Well, Dusty's dressed up as Frankenbin this week because Frank the theme of our show is... Look, listen, she's up because the theme of our show, well, he's at Frankenbin. Spine chillers. Uh -huh. And joining him with the thrilling and the chilling will be lots of super guests and some very scary surprises. Indeed mm. they will. And of course, as always, the most important people here are contestants. Right, get on with it. Right, hold on. Get on with it. Right, introduction. Michelle, you're a working wife, are you? Well, housewife, if you well, can call that working. That you can yeah. call that work indeed. That sounds familiar. Housewife, if you can call that working, you can call it working. But, but uh, when you did work, what did you used to do? Um, well, I worked for as a ground house at Manchester Airport. Really? For a short Right, hold on. Uh, let's see who comes on. Right, get on uh, Fiona, what's she so saying? questions, we have Fiona Curzon. Fiona? Lovely. I just want to see. That! You hear that? That sounds familiar, that. Growl, that how do you, I don't even know how you do that. Growl, growl. Would you like to select one of those three envelopes, please, Michelle? Good. Thanks, Fiona. Now, you know what I'd like you to answer all three. Sorry. Aye, I remember this. Envelopes there, which one are you going to have? Thank you. Let's that again. Oh, here we go. Right, that's an absolute shiter. Greece, 1982. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> there he is. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, 
railways. I've got another bad feeling. I bet we've fucking seen this. We've seen railways. We've seen railways. Okay, okay, tell us all about it. What's it supposed to be? Well, this he's week? the most elusive person on the right, hold on, hold on. He's hold on. I don't recognise this. I've seen this one. Right. Fuck me. Each of our couples to go. Hold on. Okay. Uh. Good. Lovely as ever. Take one of those. Would you please, Mary? Aye. Okay. That, that's why. You know, that's why these are. Answer alternately. They're not memorable. They just come on. There's no. There's no fucking part or there's nothing. Yeah, that's shit. This is probably shit and all. Hey, melodrama. I don't remember this. Wait a minute. Maybe a day. Maybe a day. We've seen this one. Is this the look what he's wearing? Is this the uh, the dentist chair? Charge nurse. Yeah. So you don't work for the national. Couples at the end of that play the elimination game, leaving one couple to hopefully go home with one of our great from Eastbourne. That's right. Yes, a lovely place, Eastbourne. I know that very well. Do you ever go to the Kings? Uh, I need to see. Is this a dentist one, yeah. please? Right, what'd you say? Old People's Rehabilitation Ward. A, a charge nurse? Yeah. So you don't work for the National Health Service? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely part of the world, some marvellous places there, of course. Right. Need to enter spot. Ah! I remember her. Well, you're, ju you're just looking a little pleased with yourself. Why is that, Fiona? Yes, I am. The producer made a pass at me this morning. Well, in your job, you've got no choice. Oh, yes, I have. A mink coat or a diamond bracelet. <laughs> Yes! Very good. You're looking pleased with yourself. I am. The producer made a pass at me. In your job? Why is that, Fiona? Yes, I am. The producer made a pass at me this morning. Well, in your job, you've got no choice. In your job, you've got no choice. Oh, yes, I have. A mink coat or a diamond bracelet. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, right, thanks. That's a different, absolutely different thing. Different, it feels like a hundred years ago. That's my childhood there. For much, you know what happens, you have to... Hey, the, uh, forget about that. Muppets, Ford Chris. Get about that. Ray and Joe. Nick Burnley in Lancashire. Ray, are you a dentist? Uh, and what do you do for a living? I'm a chemist for the Water Authority. Chemist for the Water Authority, and what do you, do you do you there? I analyse sewage. <laughs> <laughs> when's, the when's the dentist? Yes. Work home with you, yeah? Does, does she? How many? Thank you very oh, much. Yeah. Uh -huh. very much. Right. It's, it costs too much for a car, you know, yeah. so, but we'd love to drive one, but yes. no, we just support it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, here we go. I'm going to move on to something else, don't worry. you, Alison? Don't ask, Edward. I've just been really swindled at that new clothes shop. Mm -hmm. They had sweaters 20% off. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, um, sweaters 20% off. Uh, it's not as straightforward as, oh, it didn't have any arms on it. It was something. I remember no understanding. I remember no getting it. I remember going, what, what? Well, I bought one and he'd only had one sleeve. Well, that's 20% off, I suppose. Would you like a Is that it? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, you just... A-T-S-A-I-L-A-B, -A -A absolutely. Alison Temple Savage as I live and breathe. What brings you around tea? These parts always a pleasure. What can I do for you? Got a twenty pounds to beat at the moment. Don't forget. Wait, where's the where's the fucking? Here we have. We've got David Fonville from Gillsborough. He's a dentist. And Maggie Locke from Northampton. They both work at a dentist. Yes. Right. And David and Maggie, you are, you are work colleagues. Yes. That's right. I yes. see. And what do you work at, David? Uh, I teach uh, at Gillsborough School. Uh -huh. Teach speech and drama at. Gillsborough. Oh fuck off! No. Right. Where, where's the one who does the dentist thing? Had a hankering to go on the stage yourself. Uh, do you know that's what I should be doing? 
I should be doing stuff in the last year. Um, well, yes, until I see <laughs> all the amount that's involved. See how and then easy it's, it is, um, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And it's safe enough. I just get on that. Begin rehearsing for. Lib right, Libby. Just a couple of moments ago, I saw you asking one of the electricians for some burnt out light bulbs. Why was that? Well, I've just taken up photography, Ted. Yeah, well. Well, I need them for my dark room. They'd work in there, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I saw this just the other week. I think when I was looking up episodes that I've seen. I, 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 oh, was it? Oh, no, was it on? Was it on Instagram? Was it on Let Me Twitch Clips Plus? I don't fucking know. That'll be absolute shite. What else is there? That isn't the. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. What else is there that isn't the, um, I've got some, this, this Mike Newman guy, we've got a whole fan club. Oh, Mike Newman Jr. Oh, shit. No offence, just a bit of banter. Oh, there's some that's just got the Head of Joy one. Right, i going to move on for this. Musicals? Uh, no. No. I, what else is there? Well, did we actually watch it? Did we actually watch it last week? Going for Gold. Family Fortunes. Wait a minute. Family, family Fortunes. Christmas Special. Uh, 91, not interested. N not interested. Not interested. 2008, fuck off. 2010, not interested. 94? Nah. 90? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, wait. Hogmanay New Year's Special, 1990. I don't know. Can watch that. It's not very... Dennis's peak family fortunes, but he didn't need really... If you feel you have one of those answers... I don't know, we're not getting much here. I, one of the things I like, I don't like anything too fucking dodgy because it's fucking embarrassing to play and I want to skip past it and all the rest of it. But I do like wee things like... Um. Fuck me, look, look at that sort of thing in 1981 or something, or, um, you know, that just that fucking, you know, that, like that part of the, oh, a boss made, made a pass at me, that kind of thing, like, observing fucking 81 for, for a distance. But 1990, there's going to be, this is going to be a straightforward fucking program, isn't it? You know, you kind of go out, look at fucking a dodgy Bob Monk house or. This just might be watching like a straightforward program. This just might be straightforward. It's not like a piece of history. You overestimate 1990. 1990 will be. Hogmanay family fortunes and tonight's families are Wilma. Sandra, Grace, Margaret, and Roberta, the Nisbet family. And this, 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 Terry, Michael, this will be, Jerry, this one will be good. Tommy and John, the Smith family. This will be naked. Here's your host, Les Dennis. This will be naked. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to Hogman A Family Fortunes. We've got two smashing no. families, both from Scotland, who have played the game before. They're winning, hopefully tonight, £3,000 for their elected This will be nay good. You probably notice they're not with us at the moment. That's because we thought, as it's Hogman A, we'd pipe them in and over to our piper, Ian McDonald, to bring in the Nisbet family. <laughs> There'll be no jokes at the expense of Scottish people. Do you know what I mean? There'll be nothing. I turned the volume up a wee bit. 
You know, we joke about how Scottish people are misers. There'll be nothing. Okay, Isn't that one? I don't think so, no. Because this, unless, you know, in case you don't know, you might be going like that. Is this no taking the piss out of Scottish people? I mean, there's, he's wearing a fucking kilt and bagpipes. Is this no, like, oh, you're Scottish, so, no, it's Hogman A, all goes with it. It's not like, see if you sort of did that, and it's like June, and we've got a Scottish person on, so fuck it, get the bagpipes on, then maybe, even then, it's not even, but that is something. But I, I, I would like to hear some jokes like, Oh, well, uh, I was going to say get the round in, but you're Scottish or Guys, something. The Smith family. Clinton. Hey. The Clinton at the wrong time. Fuck off you. Some people who don't know bagpipes will be thinking he wasn't actually playing that there. Remember, you blow up the bag, the air comes out the bag. Hey, let's meet the family! I hope they speak in English accents. I same here. As I said, both families have played before. The Nisbet family. Wilma, how are you doing? Not bad. Good to see yeah. you again. Introduce us once again to your family. This is my sister, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Hello again, my sister, Grace. Hi, Grace. Hello, my sister, Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Hello. My sister, Roberta. Roberta. I remember Hi, Bert. Hi. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good to see you. What charity are you playing for, Wilma? Scottish Homeless. The Scottish Homeless, I think that's great. <laughs> All right, that's the Nisbets, let's go over, meet the Smiths. Fucking hearts in my mouth when I hear it, it mentioning fucking charity. Um, Hi, Terry. This is, nah, this is, this pointless. Uh, this is my brother, Michael. Hi, Michael. My Hi, brother, Liz. Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Liz. My brother, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Liz. And my nephew, John. John, Hi, good to see you. Yes. And which charity are you playing for, Terry? This is for the drug... Rehabilitation campaign in Scotland. Well, that's a brilliant, another good charity. That's it. That's this is fucking family. pointless. This is just straightforward family fortunes. This is now a piece of history. Oh, that's nice. A mistletoe we needed there. Okay, top seven answers on the board in the first game. You know the rules. If you feel you have one of those answers, press your buzzer immediately. We asked a hundred people to name something that comes in tens. Fingers. Terry. Right, cigarettes. Cigarettes, all right. Uh, we're looking for cigarettes. Yes, top answer. Well, Fingers. Okay. Right, what are you going to do, guys? Right, you uh, you no, always. Okay, rejoin your family. Remember, you cannot confer. Michael, something that comes in tens. Tens. Tin soldiers. And we're looking for tin soldiers. <laughs> it's not. He's getting mixed up between. Um, he, he's getting mixed up in Nikita by Elton John. Up there. What do you uh, think? A suit of cards. Let's have a look for a suit of cards. <laughs> ah, there was an edit there. Did you hear it? A suit of cards. Let's have a look. It's not there. <laughs> Jerry, what do you uh, think? A suit of cards. Let's have a look. And do you notice there's an edit? I think he will like a, a what? A suit of cards. A what? Sorry. A suit of cards. <laughs> Two lives have gone, the Nisbet's all ready, you might get a chance to steal, Tommy. Eh, uh, fingers. Fingers, <laughs> yeah. What are you laughing at? I know, what are you fucking laughing at? That'll be number two. I'm not laughing at anything. Because oh. <laughs> we only really have eight fingers and two thumbs, don't we? Let's have a look, look for fingers. Yes, it's there, Tommy. It should be number one, but... Right, so Tommy, what have we got? Listen, stop right there. This is what we're going to do. You watching? We're no fucking watching. I'm going to close that for a second. Right? And I'm going to open up. Um, IMDB, maybe. 321 UK. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go there. And I'm going to go to series two. I'm not saying season. 19, that's not what I want. Three. Right, 81. This is it. This is what, this is it here. This is what we are wanting here. Now, I think we've seen a lot of this. 
Cinderella, I believe we've seen. Westerns, I'm pretty sure we've seen. Circus, Nursery Rhymes, I think we've seen. Music Hall 2, Riverboat, Country Life. We might have seen these. There's a couple that I'm not going to watch. Because they go slightly into the, the Dodger territory. I'm afraid to say. We might have fucking seen everything that was good. Right, look, 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 we've still got a chance. Space. Right, there's space. Right, now, please. What's that zippy one? Uh, three. Selfish? <laughs> what selfish? You're Fuck up, give him a fucking break. Six bricks. Bungle. Give him a, <laughs> yeah. a fucking what, 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 What's going on? Bungle's building a tower. Oh, I can do that. I'm very good at building. I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Hey. Zippy. That was my tower. Yeah, right, two, two, one, two. Zippy, three. now come on. Now say you're sorry to Bungle. You knocked his tower over. I, I, mean, I didn't know. Oh, yes, you did. I was building my tower and you just knocked it over on... It's... Zippy sounds like, see Slash, um, this autobiography, I'm reading a Slash one, when he talks about Axl Rose being late and no apologising and all the rest of it, and doesn't he actually get it, like, no no turning up and the fucking cancel a show, kind of in the early days, well, just sort of stun it, cancel a whole fucking show because he's he's just no bother to leave his fucking room, not even apologising, not even getting that you should apologise or anything. Um, and it describes him almost as for a, a, an intelligent person. He just doesn't seem to get or seem to care about these sorts of things. And oh, it sounds like it it sounds like Zippy. Over. I, I, mean, I didn't know. I'm big. I'm a fisherman. <laughs> Zippy. Oh, oh look. It's fallen over again. Oh, you're not a very good builder, Bungle, are you? Well said, Gaslight, absolute fuck it, the cunt. All over, Zippy, you pushed it over. Oh, I'm fed up and cross, and I'm not playing anymore. Oh, what's wrong with him? Well fucking said, Zippy. He's a fucking dick. You see, what you don't see is the other side. All you're seeing right now is zippy, zippy, zippy. See if I showed you other wee bits, which I have before. Bungle's actually a cunt. You're only seeing the zippy side because Bungle's clever with it. See, zippy, unfortunately for zippy, what you see is what you get. Bungle's clever with it. Very clever with it. Right. Three, two, one, space. UK, this isn't going to work into it all. Oh, wait a minute, maybe we've seen it. Maybe we've seen it. Space, does it sound familiar? It might be a shiter. Nineteen eighty two. Yuri Geller, I recognise that cunt. I recognise the Yuri Geller looking guy. Hold on. I know I'm, I'm kind of risking ruining this by skipping ahead, but uh, let me just hear Libby's part. We've got Libby Roberts, Libby. Oh. Hey! Hey! You're, you're looking good as ever. Now, you've been busy because you are now choreographing, aren't you? Yes, that's yes. right. You yes. had a busy time. Where have you been? Very busy. Well, the girls went to Cairo not so long ago. Really? Opened the Hilton out there. It's lovely. Smashing. That's mm. your group called Lipstick, who mm -hmm. we have on the show a bit later. That's lovely. Right. Would you like Fuck, to we've seen it! Or have we? We should... With it. I thought she was doing the, did she not like choreograph like the seaside bit or something? Space 2. But that, I know, but that one, 1982, Space 2, I've got a feeling that the person who uploaded this, 
Series 4, Edition 2, Series 4, see, it should be called Space 2, but they've just called it Space. You see, I get these things. I, when I think about these things, right, the reason why I take so long to think about things, why I'm so slow and I come across as pure daft and what does he mean by that? Is because, see, instead of just going like that, um, right, that's called Space 2, right? I better search for Space 2. That one's called Space, therefore that's no it. I'm just going like that. They've called it Space. There's a chance this person has called it Space, but it's actually called Space 2. And I was right. I was right. There's also a chance that this person thinks this one is the Space 1. Um, for Series 4, uh, Episode 2. But in fact, uh, this is the one for Series 3, Episode 5, which is just straightforward space. And it slows down my brain because I know that people make these wee mistakes and there's a chance. What might not be how it appears. There might be this reason, there might be that. And I get people going like that to me. Uh, well, actually, it's just yous. Going, what the fuck are you, what the fuck are you on about? There's an extension for Chrome called Watchmaker that greys out what you've already seen. Right? This is Firefox that I'm using here. Chrome is my actual browser. In fact, Edge is my actual, actual browser. I use Chrome for something. I use Edge for something else. And I use um, this for this. Coffee jar, Craig against the machine, cactus, red spence, gurping, six subs and bits. Can I get the Lawson family on from Blackburn, West Lothian, 1985, Max Bygraves on YouTube? I'm going to have a think about that. F, I'm not seeing it. Family Fortunes, 1985. Wait a minute. What's that? Uh, Bobby and Charlie, thanks to subs. Aye, rank one nurse when it actually fucking mattered. Fletch, Depeche Mode, and Bobby Davro on number 73 doing a quiz, 1980s. Oh! Thank you. I, I used to watch number 73, I didn't like it that much. Um, Lost in Family. Hold on. Law. This one here. And here is your host. Why'd you want, uh, who asked for that? Gurpings, do you know them? Gurpings, why have you asked for this lot? Fill a dodgy part, I know, I fucking bet. They did say Blackburn though, so maybe they know. Cut pings? Are you there? Um, what do you do for hobbies? Hobbies? Oh, really? let me hear. Let me hear the gut pings. And what do you do, Lilius? I'm a care assistant. A what? A care assistant. Oh, care. Who for? Who do you care Old for? Old people. Fucking English. Oh, his family. Really? Care. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Care. Care. People. Oh, like old me, yeah. Home. I do. I do the same for my wife and mother. mother <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, mate? I'll, I'll keep that. I'll keep that uh, in reserve. Here. Take your first round questions, please. They are the yellow envelope, so that's the first round. This is. Thanks very much. <laughs> now, now you know, of course. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to part. I don't remember this. Have we seen this? Remember her? I mean, I remember her fit other things, but I don't remember seeing this. Space 2, though. Look, forget about space and space 2. Seen this or no? 
I don't, I don't recognise this. Many people are saying, everybody, we might have an episode. But Ted has definitely said to Libby before, you're doing choreographing, aren't you? Aye, I'm doing something later. But I don't remember anything to do with space. I, remember, I think I remember something to do with the seaside. She may have done the seaside one. This one right here. I remember that, cunt. Do you manage to stay? I remember here. I remember him. Well, not enough time. Wait a minute. Here comes Libby. Hello, Ted. I've just been planning my holidays, and I've decided to spend the whole of the summer away. Now that sounds very nice. Hmm. But there is a problem. I don't know which day it'll be. Well, we've had that problem for a long time. Let's have your. I remember that. Thanks very much. Right. So she's not saying anything. That's weird. Right, you know what? Let's play this space one. Got a fucking ooh on the half to get through this. Right, on. Come on. Rapid, right. This is called rapid. We've seen it. I don't, I don't. I just don't think so. I don't think so. Um, four, four handshakes, everybody. I can tell because he's gone in for a handshake right at the top step. We're going to get four. You know what? I'm going to go further and say five. One. Two. Three. Four. Wait, wait, wait. What was that I just saw? Ah, bastard. That was just four. Thank you. Thank you very much. Four, Good four, evening, one. Welcome once again to the most exciting joint in Leeds, my hand. I'm going to give him that as a three. Three. One. Three, three, one. <laughs> and that's, that's what it's saying. It's three. Three. Two. He, he managed to do it, everybody. We've just witnessed history. One, which means it's the leads my hand, and that's that's what it's saying. It's three, two, and one, which means it's the the game show that beats the lot. Because I can't kind of quite take it in. I'm just sort of getting on with it. I'm just sort of. I just noticed that I've got the lights on behind me. I he did it slow. I, I'm no, I've not actually, I'm not actually taking it in. I'm just like that. Oh, he managed to do it. I'm no gaining him it. I'm no gaining him it. You know why? Because it was his second one and he'd, he'd done it a wee bit slower to kind of demonstrate it. I'm no gaining him it. It's got to be the first one. That's the rules. That's the rules. Since when? Since now. Since before he did it. Finty, thanks for the sub, thank you very much. Cactus and Craig. Respense, thanks for the subs. As we slip in the surprises, pile on the Do you think we can watch this 51 minute episode in an hour and a half? I think we can, as long as we get past these stupid fucking questions. Prizes and give one lucky couple the chance to take home some superb, really big winnings tonight. Oh, oh. I would like to thank everybody at home for tuning in, mums and dads, boys and girls, and uh, thank you very much indeed, That's our lovely studio audience. We've got people who've well, come from quite a way to be here tonight. Oh, we've got some ambulance men here somewhere, haven't we? Where are the ambulance men? Ambulance. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Hello. Ambulance. Okay? Business good? <laughs> but this is the crowd I want to talk to. You won't believe it. This, you saw it. There it is. There, the Family Fortunes Appreciation Society. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Can you believe that? Have you got a good road map? <laughs> this sounds familiar. I can't believe it. I better explain. You see, they didn't realise it wasn't an ATV show. In fact, they sent in, and here where they are at White TV. Thanks for coming to Three Two One. Family We've Fortunes seen this. Society. I thought there was only one, Bob Monkhouse. <laughs> Only kidding, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right on with the show. There's only one thing that could put the damper on our programme. Our resident booby prize, you know who that is, Dusty Bin. We've Look fucking seen we. this. Lucky, He's here. Hello. Oh, yeah. This is the... Is. This is the worst day of my life. This is... 
just ease that up, Bell, about one of the worst days of my life. Three, two, one, nineteen eighty-two, magic. Aye, this is this is the worst day of my life. I don't, I don't know. Caribbean, I fucking right. I'm playing that episode. The Far East, no chance. Valentine's. Valentine's. Maybe. Who done it? Oh, there's a. Have you seen this one? Frankie Howard. This could be alright. We can give one dodgy one a go. No, we can't. It's too much. Too much. Only three handshakes. One, two, three. Bastard. Four, five, six. Fuck me. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another exciting edition of the only quiz game show that you can carry on your hand. Three, two, one. And to another exciting edition of the only quiz game show that you can carry on your hand. Three. Three. One. Close. No close at all. Three. Three. That's the, this is the second number. How is that close? Two, one. Okay, very easy to do, very easy to say. <laughs> He's a fucking piece of work, him, isn't he? Very easy to do. He's a fucking piece of work. As usual, we've got three couples who will be competing for cash. Later, of course, there'll be two pairs prospecting for prizes. Right now, I want to thank you, studio audience, for turning up, and all of you folks at home, thank you for joining us. And I can't wait for summer. I'm sure you're the same as me. Hey? Well, you can't, really. I mean, cold nights are one thing, ice is another, fog's bad, but the snow looks good. But if you get caught in a car in a snowdrift, you have no chance, do you? Well, think of one thing, love. You say no, think of one... Think of the fella the year before last who... Get on with it, Ted, for fuck's sake! I know the build up. Well, I mean, you're he's like, oh, yeah, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, waiting, he's waiting for a wee bit of in, interaction. You know, get that, get that kind of stand up feel. Oh, uh, well, you saying, no, love. But you hear this one, everybody? She's like, no. You say what you want, love. She's like, no. Well, you say that. I don't, did she? If you have no chance, do you? Well, think of one thing, love. You say no, think of one... Think of the fella the year before last who got caught in a snowdrift, and do you remember him? The only way he survived, he opened his glove compartment, there was a pair of ladies' tights, he put them on, he survived. <laughs> Fellas, I've got news, have a look in your glove compartment. <laughs> I opened mine, I found a bra and two pairs of pants. <laughs> and they're gonna stay there. Because if ever I get caught in a snowdrift, the thought of how they got there would be enough to keep me warm, honestly. Really, really oh, wait a minute. Have I seen this one? This sounds familiar. The thought of how they got there. Because I was trying to work out, is he, is he saying that, uh, or oh, he remembers, he recalls uh, having sex in the motor? He recalls it, and that's keeping them warm. I don't know, fucking. Or is he like, how did they get there? What's she been up to? And I, that keeps them warm. The thought of how they got there. You know, he's not coming right out and saying the memory. Remembering how they got there, he had the, he had the option to saying remembering how they got there was a, is enough to keep me warm. He's saying the thought as if imagining.
You know, as if, as if, you know, the, the, does he know what, you know, what she's been up to? And, but he's in, he's into that. You know, something like that, I don't know. Kia, Neil, Finty, thinks of subs and bits. Brian, you're my girlfriend, Erin's celebrity crush. Can you stop being so dreamy, please? I wouldn't hold your breath. You must try that. Now, only one thing that would spoil the enjoyment of our couples on our show, you know who that is, our resident booby prize. Here he is, our remote rubbish runabout, Dusty Bin. Look at him. Whoa. I've got a feeling something's going to happen. I'm going to go out. Oh, I. Look at that. Remember now, you that. know how he does that. Well, that's all the blue bottles buzzing around inside of him. That's what it is. But looking after this character this week, of course, we have the lovely Libby Roberts. Libby, good to see you. Looking nice. Hey. Oh. He's got a little present for you. Look at that. Oh, Dusty, uh, I didn't know you cared. He does. Everybody that's cares about sweet. him, too. Lovely, lovely. Lips, but he looks good as always. And now, what, what's the theme this, show, this week? What's well, this week, love is in and on the air because Dusty's dressed as a lover to go with our theme of Valentine and, and uh, getting romantic. Ted, would you stop fucking speaking over Libby in order to make her fuck her words up to try and make you look fucking better because you fuck your words up all the fucking time and this is meant to be your job. You've been doing it for fucking decades now. While she's speaking, see when I'm speaking and if anybody speaks while I'm speaking, it fucking makes me stutter, it makes me stammer. Even the anticipation that I'm going to get interrupted makes me fucking stammer, makes me fucking stutter. I can't fucking stun it. She must have to go like that to herself, keep on speaking no matter what, even if a fucking bomb goes off, because he's going to keep talking, he's going to keep, oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 She's dressed as a lover to go with our theme of Valentine and uh, getting romantic. Could you fucking shut up, Ted? Could you? Could you? Well, we've got Patty Gold, Lynn Paul, Sheila Stiefel and Anna Dawson. Not forgetting, of course, the most, most important people as always. Well, hear, hear him. Hear him. He's fucking up and nobody's talking to him. He's fucking up anyway. And, and, and of course, the... the, the Sheila Stiefel and Anna Dawson. Not forgetting, of course, the most, most important people, as always, our contestants. Please say hello right now. He's got a lot of making up today. Keith Roberts and Sue Tong from Colwyn Bay. Lovely part of the world. Kevin Parker and Lynn Chisholm from Kettering. Look! Remember I said, oh, I recognise that. She's wearing, and in the same position. Top right. She's wearing the same fucking thing. It's her before. Oh, I must have been a popular style. So I suppose it's almost like um, that shot. What's he doing with this all fucking button right down? Look. That's cunt. And Annette Newell from London. Horrible set. Let's start with our quiz. Remember, three couples can win up to £1,000. They play for £10 each correct answer in the first round. Whatever they win at the end of that round is what they play for each correct answer in the second. At the end of the... I know, Ted. Get on, mate. Right, listen. We're going to speed run this, right? I've got a new and a quarter. We've got a new and a quarter to get through this episode. The episode lasts for 50 bastard and fucking minutes. Right, we've got to speed run it. Without ruining it. Yes. Now, yes. okay, Annette, tell us, how did you meet Bob? It was a 21st birthday party. Very unoriginal, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's more original than a dance. Everybody seems to meet at dances, don't they? Have right. you set the wedding date yet? Yes, April. Yes. April. I don't ask you what day in April, do I? Not the 17th. first. Good. Oh, well, well she, she knows. That's nice. Now, what do you do? What do you she do? knows that's nice. No. She knows the wedding. Day. That's nice. No. For a living, April, what do you do? Uh, I'm an accounts assistant for a burglar alarm company. Accounts assistant for a burglar alarm company? That's right, yeah. Well, Bob, I should watch it where you tread on the honeymoon night. There could be a few problems there. Got to keep me money straight as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is there a problem here, thinks the sub? Thank you very much. 
Is those two, do you sell burglar alarms or do you make uh, them or what? No, we hire them. We rent them. You rent them? Mm -hmm. And they're yes. pretty expensive, aren't they? Uh, well, yeah, they can be anything. Customer chooses from about uh, £100 upwards. Yeah. Upwards to what? Upwards to how much you want. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's that high? Because I know our producer, you know, he, he spent £1,000 on putting a burglar alarm in and thieves broke in and when they saw what was there, they, they thought the burglar alarm was the only thing worth pinching. <laughs> What about uh, I need to be work. Needs to be better. Not you then, Bob. What, what? I get it. I get the you know. I really I. And when they got there, they actually worked out that because the alarm was so expensive, that that was actually the only thing that was worth stealing because it was so expensive. To, to refer back to what you were saying earlier about the price of these things. What do you do for a living? I work in a bank and I operate computers. Uh huh. Yeah, very busy, busy work these days. Yeah. We're not He's a fucking a bank, huge so. fan of Ted. Then, Bob, what, what do you do for a living? I work in a bank and I operate computers. Uh huh. Yeah, very. Fuck. Look at the twinkle in his eye. Look at that. Look. We. It's like you, you can see mere reflections on the eyes there. That light there. That light there. There's maybe we want to the side as well because his eyes are so shiny because there's so much, uh, you know, like liquid. There's, it, there's almost tears in his eyes, making his eyes kind of bounce the light a bit more. Very busy, busy work these days. Yeah. Not he knows it. He's like this guy, obviously. Huge fan. It happens now and again. What a bank it is, though. Huh? No, it's foreign, no. but I it's won't a foreign say which bank. One. Oh, you won't say which one. All right, well, it's good. Good to have the two of you here. Let's hope you're going to do very, very well. With your questions, we've got Fiona Curzon. Fiona? Foreign. And only. Foreign, you say? Only a lovely outfit. Like that very much. Thank you. Okay, would you like to select your questions, please? Any one of those three envelopes? Here we are. Good. Oh. Okay, now, you know, Annette, we like you to answer alternately. Me, Paul. Move on. For a war. Move on. Now we got Keith Roberts and Sue Tang. Sue is originally from Birmingham, and Keith Roberts, you're from, I've got to say this right, Roos. Roos? Rose. 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 Sorry, I know I did it. That's a Cluid, which is North Wales, yes? Yeah. Uh huh, good. Now then, Keith, okay, what, what do you do for a living? What sort of work do you do? I um, work for a heating engineer. Uh huh, what, heating, just is central heating? And... Um, anything to do with you know, pipe work, you know, uh -huh. steam, anything really. Yeah, and you do, you do a spare time job as well, yes? Yeah, I work in a bar. The bar, yeah. well, you've got to get those shekels in somewhere, haven't you? Oh. Yeah, good. And Sue? Yeah, but how did you meet Keith? Uh, we worked in the same hotel together. When yeah? I was at college, we were both working the bar. So, Sorry? Not only was he pulling pints, but birds as well, huh? <laughs> Good. And what sort of work do you do? Uh, well, I'm a qualified beauty therapist, but I'm redundant. And a qual Sorry? Qualified beauty and you're redundant? Did you rub someone up the wrong way or something? <laughs> no, really? I thought there was a lot of talk for that work today. Not, not in Colin Bay, really. Do you ever give Keith a massage? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Keeping a pipe fitter fit. No, I don't blame you. Let's have your <laughs> questions. OK, thanks a lot, Fiona. Here we are. Any one of those two envelopes you'd like to select? Thanks very much. <sighs> now, here's the word. Where's question. the fucking part? And. Fine light hair of a special rabbit. Angora. Shortage of... I hear it's uh, right at Skyrim or something, isn't it? Something like that. Red blood cell. Tucker from Kettering and Lynch is home from uh, Burton Latimer, which of course is North Hans. Okay, Kevin, uh, now what do you do for a living? How do you earn your money? Uh, I work for a solicitor's. Get it fucking eyes. Is that a natural sort of eye shadow he's got? Who does he look like? He looks like about three. I'm involved in. It looks like no fielding. It's like Christopher. Oh, somebody said Jarvis Cocker. I was trying to remember. I what's his name? Terry Hall. Uh, is that his? You know, it looks like he's got eyeliner. And it probably isn't it. I've I've met somebody. I've seen somebody. It was a lawyer. Lawyer or solicitor or something like that. And it, it looked like he had eyeliner on, but he didn't. 
If he had eyeliner on, I would have noticed it and that would have been that. But I was like, is that eyeliner? And I looked and it wasn't. Some people have got their eyelashes and I'm talking about top and bottom. They're so, uh, so black and so close together and so long that it, it was a solid line. I was, I was like looking and the, Andy Burnham, aye, a bit like Andy Burnham, it's like, what, what? Just like that, oh, he's eyeliner, wait a minute, I don't get his. Andy Burnham. Kinda. Or maybe. Aye, 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 aye. You can, you can see the bottom I'm not talking about the top. I'm not talking about the top, but the bottom. It's like solid. It's like, see if you used to put eyeliner on, it wouldn't make any difference. You wouldn't notice it. What is it with you and eyelashes? Well, I've got, a, my eyelashes are like pure straight, kind of blonde, light, grey new maybe, and my eyebrows are fucking non-existent. So I've got a keen interest and everything today with hair around the eye area. Um, I so somebody mentioned Jarvis Cocker. I don't think it looks like Jarvis Cocker, but do you remember yesterday I said I was watching Top of the Pops? Um, by the way, see if we don't, don't manage to finish the 3 one episode, it's fine, right? I've got something to talk about. Watching Top of the Pops 1998, what was it? 1995, that was on the other day. I was going through an iPlayer going like, oh, fucking shit. I might mean, have forgot how much shite was on at that time. And that band, uh, Menswear or something. I said, like, who the fuck are they? I vaguely remember. Awful. The way I remember. So I want to show you. Awful. Uh, top of the Pops, Menswear. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, there's Mel. There's Mel. They had a song, when's that? June 95. And then September. Wait, 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 you fucking see this. When when was Pulp about? When was, say, Pulp, Common People, uh, Top of the Pops? 95. So look, it's right at the fucking same time. You know, kind of suit, sort of suit, floppy kind of hair, a bit, a bit, no weird, but a bit kind of, like 70s, like, you're like, what's this, what, like, um, expressionless, quite thin, floppy sort of hair, wearing a suit. Likely to wear like a brown sort of suit, a brown kind of shirt with a all brown sort of tie. Like your idea of what uh, you would look at a picture that your, your, what your dad looked like or somebody looked like in the fucking early 70s or something like that, that kind of thing. Loaded, that was 95. Now, we bit, I don't know what the word is, no, no just quirky, but. Kind of unserious. So it's, it's like they're trying to look like a like a sixties band. Ironic detachment. I I like that. But a joke. You're like that is a. The, it's fun. It's not really meant to be. Just in case Nanny is were about in 1995 or young enough to remember, cunts didn't they look like that. You know, this brown kind of suit and all the rest of it. That's just, that wasn't a, that. Everybody looked like that in the 70s, if you know what I mean. Other than people who didn't. You know, cunts that were into, I don't know, fucking leather jackets or whatever, denim or something. But that was just your standard, bog standard fucking attire you would see in some film in the the mid 70s in New York or something. But, um, I, anyway, so 
I was watching Top of the Pops, 1995, and this lot came on. I was like, who's this? I don't remember this lot. Did they say you're so blind you flounder drowning? Did he say you're so blind you flounder drowning or something? It's like kind of like Elastica sort of that, that what's that fucking sound? What's that? What's that song they copied? Kind of David Bowie one. I that connection. I that's that doesn't sound like the David Bowie one, mind you. Connection. I. Moving closer, you, over. Have you ever been so annoyed in your life as as you are right now? Sinking into seas of colour, feeling lighter, darker, brighter. Consciousness begins to falter, holding you. I start to wonder, pull you out or drag you under. Breathe deeper, daydreamer. And hearing them sing, did you hear something? Like that? See what 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 age was I then? Mid mid ninety five, twenty. Um, I was really really uh, I was an angry person in my twenties. No, all the time. No, all the time. But really, things could really. Fu- you think I'm fu- I'm easily annoyed right now? You think I'm fucking easily annoyed and and grumpy? No, see this. This is the sort of thing that f- it fucking irritate me in a way that I couldn't put into words. That's the worst kind of fucking anger. You can't. You can't articulate it. You're like an animal. You don't. You don't know why. You, why you think that way? So it's just like raw fucking emotion. You're like, why? Why do I hate this? Why do I hate this? Slowly shifting, gently dripping. How is it just as simple as? Oh, his his voice annoys me. They're just copying pulp. It's not as simple as that. There's about another 20, 20 or so reasons, and I've no thought of them yet, but I feel it. In your arms, I'm quietly breathing. Silent dreaming, thinking, yearning, hoping for a better journey. Understanding what I'm planning. You're so blind, you flounder drowning. See that there? I need to look up the lyrics to that because that irritates me so much. What's it called? Daydreamer. Uh, menswear. Lyrics. You're so you're so blind you flounder drowning. See just that. It's fucking exhausting. It's exhausting how much I, people search for connection by Elastica. You don't fucking say. Common people by pop. You don't fucking say. Um... You're so blind, you flounder drowning. See just, see just that they wrote that, or he wrote that, or whoever the fuck uh, was wrote that, thinking that's clever, or it sounds a bit. It sounds different, and actually, the sound. It even if you don't know what the words mean. Imagine you don't speak English or something. The sound. It just the. Uh, the sound of the, the 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 sound of that coming out, it fucking irritates me. So it, it really irritates me here in in two thousand and twenty three. I'm just checking the, the the clock here. It irritates me here. Back then, that's the sort of thing I would go on about for a month. Jesus fucking Christ! I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Breathe deeper, daydreamer. Listen to them singing that because they're fans. 
Look at them jumping up and doing that elastic fucking style of fucking cunt with a fucking suit in his fucking hair. I'm pure weird me. So Elastica 94 I fucking hated them and all See I was into suede as well I was right into suede and I'd read like Select Magazine. Oh, did you know that uh, Brett Anderson used to go out with Hurtfee Thingy, but now she's gone out with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Damon Albarn. And did you know that? Fucking hate everything. Look, 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 look at this. Mid 90s, everybody doing the same thing, man. Everybody doing the same thing, man. Um, what's the song that they had that sounds just like a David Bowie one? Line up. Is it? You're just no. You're just saying. You're just doing that. You're just turning about random. Aye, it is. Aye. I don't even think it was. David Bowie. What song does that sound like? What song does that sound like? Station. Oh, Three of Americans. Scary Monsters, is it? Is that not the name of the album? Oh, wait. I need to... What I need to do is maybe single out some people and go right this person normally knows what they're talking about and when they don't know a thing they don't even get an answer because you're getting people go oh fashion oh, it sounds dead like fashion the, the one it sounds exactly like what's it called coffee coffee and tv you know what the fuck is that oh jesus christ Afraid of Americans, right. Why is that? Why is that like that? That's it. Is this not a new song? It's by Blur, Brian says Keir Watson. What's by Blur? Keir Watson. What's by Blur, Brian? Keir Watson. Coffee and TV. But Coffee and TV by Blur isn't there a song by David Bowie? Brian. I'm looking for a song by David Bowie that they, that they copied for that. And you're like that. It's a song by Blood Brian. It's by, it's by Blur, Brian. Coffee and TV is by Blur. What's happening exactly, Mary Biscuits? What's happening? Everybody's in holiday mode because it's the last week before Christmas. It's no game. Right. Nobody's trying anymore. Aye, there we go. I'll say that. Listen, come on, man. 
total rap off. Total rap off. Right. That fucking men's well, what were they all about? And then I'll manage somehow Stardust. Right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, this is a. Uh, here, here's the fucking, here's the funny thing, by the way. I'm like that. Oh, they've uh, copied. Um, uh, pulp, but the songs are run about the same time. This isn't the, like the other one. That's nothing like the other one. That's nothing like. Is this the same band? What about Stardust? That's this is different. Still awful, but it's, it's not the same. Fuck, I thought the nineties were all right. I thought, and I'm looking back and. Fucking shite. You know what's fucking good? Summer number one, born in Trinidad and now living in Germany. Hit sound three. Kind of go around with a bit of pop dance. Singing live. Look at how daft that looks, man. <sighs> Fuck off, all yeah. Anyway, back to this cunt. Criminal litigation. I look after Back to the no baddies. field in here. The baddest? Yeah. What sort of baddest? Well, uh, anything from driving offences up to um, ABH. He looks like uh, Mr. Lizard for Jam. I'm waiting for him to say Mr. Lizard. Brand new one, is it? Good quality. Very good quality. Very, very good quality. Really good quality here. Mr. Riley. Okay. Come back to the television. Oh, yeah, right. Come in. Thank you. Brand new one, is it? Yes. But not working. What's his name? It's full of lizards. Lizards? Yeah. I'll throw and have a look. Man's come to fix the telly, though. About bloody time. It's a bloody mess. Really good quality. It says there's lizards coming at his telly. Mark Heap, aye. You'll need a replacement, won't it? No. No? That seems to be set up properly. Yeah, but what about the lizards? That's a, that's a good picture. I'm not having a TV pouring lizard into my house. It's two, 240 pixels high, I think, and, and that includes where there's nothing happening. So, really... You're looking at possibly 200 pixels high, if that. That's all you need, that's, that's bags of pixels. We well, see they're uh, not really anything to do with me, Strictly. Yes, they are. It's a brand new television, it's not supposed to have lizards in it. Hmm, but you see, it doesn't say anything about lizards. Of course it bloody doesn't, they're not meant to be there, are they? Have you checked with the cable company, sir? It reminds me of him. 
They're going three, two, one. There's nothing to do with them. Have you checked with the cable company? No, we haven't. Well, all I can say is that I do suggest you, you, you check with them and, and maybe they'll be able to help you. Are you trying to tell the cable company sending us lizards? Maybe, yes. What? Down the wire. Went by mistake. Down, down the wire, the, the, the lizards. Now, hang on. Look, mate, look. Look, it's quite simple. Right? You sold us the telly. You delivered it yesterday. You set it up. The first time we start using it, it starts pouring lizards. So we want you to come up with a solution, right? Sweep them up. Sweep them up? Yes. Well, you sweep them up, then? No, you sweep them up. What? Well, as, as I say, madam, they're, they're not really anything to do with me. Oh, God, is that all you can say? It's nothing to do with me, is that it? Wipers. What? Wipe them off the screen with windscreen Look, this wipers. Is fucking ridiculous, right? Well, you no, no need to swear. Oh, I can fucking swear in my own house if I want to. No need for that. Right. What will your head office say when I tell him about all this, eh? Yeah. You did it. What was that? They'd say, they'd say you did it. You what? Why, why, why'd you fill your telly with lizards? Look, I've told you the lizards started coming out of that telly as soon as you'd set it up, right? You, you filled your telly with lizards. What? I'm gonna get you fucking sacked, mate. What's your name? Mr. Lizard. Stop fucking me about! Fucking nincompoop. Come on, what is it? Mr. Lizard. Right, what's your boss's name? Another Mr. Lizard. Stop it! Fucking stop it! <laughs> Mr. Lizard. <laughs> stop it! Where are you going? Yeah. Get back out! <laughs> Where are you going? Get back out! Get back out! Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely stuff. He reminds me of Mr. Lizard. Big Tosh, J Radicals, Big Figure. Plowing Stars, thanks to subs. I've been listening to Osmond Boys, will be boys in a loop. Can't even remember if you like the tune or not. I did it at the time, but I have actually fucking chosen to play it by choice. In my private time. David something else. Uh, Charlie thinks of subs. Have a blessed Christmas as well. ABH? Yes. What's ABH? Actual bodily harm. Oh, actual? That's how fucking much? Does it sound like he's saying, they'll say you did it? Look. ABH. No, no, you sweep it up. Right. ABH? Yes. What's ABH? Actual bodily harm. Mr. Lizard. Another Mr. Lizard. Um, who, um, ABH? Something like that. ABH? Yes. There's What's no need to swear, sir. ABH. Actual bodily harm. Oh, actual? Oh, no, gee, never had ABH, really. Oh, gosh. Because prisons are getting very, very overcrowded. That's Even right. if you're in solitary, you've got to share these days. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to prison, you can still have a night out on the tiles. Don't forget that. <laughs> now. Very topical. I think 1982, there was recently a prison riot when they were up on the, the roof uh, wrecking it. What was it? Strange ways or something? Now, what about you then, Lynn? I mean, I mean, when did you two get engaged? Funny name for a fucking jail, isn't it? Strange ways. It's like you're saying that the people in this building have got strange ways to them. The way they've went about things is strange. Got strange ways of living and we've had to stick them in here because they're naughty. Um, last year. And have you set your date yet? No, some time. Right. <laughs> I'm still thinking about getting those shekels. In. So if this is interesting. It says, your, your details, it says you were born on the same day. Just come out with the shekels, Paul. Shekels us getting old shekels and You've already said shekels. Say something else like dough or, you know, change it a wee bit. In the same hospital, in the next bed but one. That's right. Really? Yeah. Well, Kevin, if you can continue like that throughout your married life, you won't go far wrong, believe me. <laughs> and, and your job, Lynn, you're a student nurse, yes? Have you always been a student nurse? Um, when I left school after taking A-levels, I worked for... No. At some point I was in school, in primary school before that. Supermarket for eight months. The supermarket? Mm. Don't ever get those two jobs mixed up, <laughs> will you? Ah, uh, just a bit, bit like your words there. <laughs> Suppose a bit like your words are. 
supermarket for eight months. The supermarket? Mm. Don't ever get those two jobs mixed up, will you? <laughs> if I walked into your world, I might see a special on enemas, and that I wouldn't like. <laughs> However, let's have your questions. And nice one. Thanks very much. The last envelope. Now, two seventies. Right, nice we don't need this. Move on. Move on. We don't need that. We don't need this bit. Ties in with this week's theme, Valentine's. We've got 45 minutes to get this episode completely and utterly fucking done and dusted. Without missing it in juicy. We've got couple number three here. That's Kevin and Lynn. I want the questions. Watch it in your own time, Timmy. We don't need the questions. And Sue and Keith, both on 70 pounds. Normally, I would watch the questions so I can actually answer them and you can answer them. Okay, now, the first this time we're going to 70 pounds. Each person has to take one of those two which one? Bob's don't don't need these questions. Don't need them. Don't need them. pounds for each correct answer, and by a descriptive phrase. See what I'm wondering, everybody, and I don't want to overthink this. Is do I really want to just play a three, two, one episode that I skim by? You know, I don't. <laughs> yes. 